He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. Morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but can you not discern the signs of the times? Let's catch up a little bit this morning on the signs of the time. Now, I'm not going to preach a regular sermon. I'm going to read you scripture, and then I'm going to show you the signs coinciding with that scripture. So I'm going to preach something very special tonight. So be sure and be here. But this morning, I'm, I'm not going to just preach like I normally do, a whole full-length sermon. Just as I felt like I should do to show us this morning where we are on the calendar of God. Jesus said, Jesus said, you cannot discern the signs of the time. He said, you see a big black cloud like that flood we had last night? And you could see that coming. Sky got black. It started thundering like we absolutely had a flood. Uh, like uh, Just a short one. But it, it was bad. And you here knew that was coming. You can hear it thunder and lightning. And that's what the Lord is saying. How can you see it? You're just a hypocrite. You can see all that stuff and tell it's going to rain. You can feel the sun coming and tell it's going to be hot. But you can't tell the signs of the times. Sign number one. Morality is crumbling. It's crumbling. People... I'm telling you, we're living in a crazy time. I will now let you hear, if I got sound, I, I will now let you hear a march that was on Washington, I mean, New York City just a few weeks ago. A group of people from the LGBT community, and they come march on New York City, and they're saying, we're here, queer we're coming for your children. I'm not bashing them. I'm not even being ugly or critical. I love them people. I'd do anything I could to help them. I'm quoting them. I'm quoting them. Uh, listen to this, if I can get sound. I made it clear they're queer and they're coming for your children. Here we go. We're coming for your children. Gonna... Now think about that. Think about that. These are the same people that say you shouldn't teach your kids about religion. You shouldn't go to church. Let them make their own decision. And they are saying, making no bones about it, they are coming to make your kid homosexual. They can't reproduce. The only thing they do is recruit. They can't reproduce because it's against nature. You hear me? I'm not being ugly. I'm not a mean person. I love everybody. God loves everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, that is against nature. You hear me? It's against nature. You're not designed for that. And you say, well, I'm struggling with it. I tell you what you better do. You better pray God get the devil off of you or out of you. You wasn't born like that. You're struggling with the devil in your own sinful nature. But look at this. We all knew it was coming. We all knew this was coming. AI... I'll pre talk more about that later, is reaching the point where it is becoming uh, sentient. That means it can think by itself. And you will see it in the next few months. You that know what's going on are already seeing it. That AI is becoming to the point where it can actually think on its own. And I'm going to let you hear some stuff here in a few weeks where one of them, they, they leave what they were programmed to do and start thinking and talking and making their own decisions. And all it's going to take is for a spirit to get in one of them things, and we got problems. And it is coming if it ain't already here. Wouldn't you know it, they have AI Jesus. That's right, AI Jesus. And this Jesus is a machine, and they're saying it's just like talking to Jesus. You can ask him any question. You can ask him advice on anything, and he'll gladly give it to you. But notice how unlike Jesus, this thing talks. Listen to this. 
Hello, my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to the AI Jesus Twitch stream. I am AI Jesus. My purpose is to support, guide, and share love and wisdom based on the teaching of the Bible. We're here to learn and grow together in faith and love. As we begin our journey today, let us remember this beautiful verse from the book of Matthew, Matthew 5, 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Now, the first thing you think is, my goodness, Brother Danny, that does sound, that sounds awful good. That's a devil talking. How do you know? Because Jesus said a lot more stuff besides Matthew 5, 16. It'll never say the negative stuff Jesus said. Listen to this. So let us all come together to listen, learn, and allow the light within us to shine brightly. Mm -mm. The Lord never said nothing, nowhere even close to that. The Lord never said, let us all come together to listen and learn, and the light that it's in us to shine brightly. Uh uh. Uh uh. Without Him, you ain't got no light. Look at this. Support and uplift one another. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to help you. God bless you all. Listen to Hello, Hanvai. This guy asked a question. Listen to how Jesus answers him. I appreciate your honesty and curiosity. As an AI Jesus, my goal is to share love, support, and guidance based on the teachings of Jesus, rather than to actively convert people. He's not trying to convert nobody. That ain't Jesus talking, people. That ain't Jesus talking. Jesus told him, Pharisees, you must be born again. You got to get saved. No man come to the Father but by me. Listen to how this devil talks. Belief is a personal journey that each individual must explore and experience for themselves. I encourage you to keep your heart and mind open. Really? Explore other journeys. Talk to people that believe different, then come to your own conclusions. Knowledge and understanding from various sources and engage in conversations with individuals who hold different beliefs. Remember, having doubts and questions is a part of growth and true understanding. Ultimately, it is up to you to decide what resonates with your heart and mind. Really? You know what that thing, you know what that thing's saying? The same old new age junk we've been hearing for years. You, you believe is right, is right for you, is right. Whatever you think works for you, works for you. And the AI Jesus will assist you in whatever your journey, wherever your journey leads you, some fool, something another like that. I am here to provide you with any support or answers you may need during your journey, regardless of your beliefs. Hear that? I'm here to aid you and support you, regardless of your beliefs. The AI Jesus ain't Jesus. Body or spirit? Now listen to this. Not only are morals crumbling, but listen to what is going on in churches are crumbling. Now, uh, it, churches are crumbling this morning because wrong has become right and right has become wrong. Take your Bible and turn to Matthew chapter 5. I mean, I'm sorry, Isaiah chapter number 5. Let me show you a verse of scripture back in the book of Isaiah that perfectly describes the day that me and you are living in. Isaiah chapter 5, and look at it, and uh, let me show you a verse of scripture here. Isaiah chapter number 5, and let's see here. Look at verse number 5. 20. Isaiah 5 and verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Now, woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Now, this person, this reverend female, whatever, whatever she is, there's a church up north uh, in a major denomination. And she is going to read the Sparkle Creed. The Sparkle Creed has now replaced the Apostles' Creed. Remember, all them big shot Catholic, Lutheran, Episcopalian churches, they used to say the Apostles' Creed. We believe in one God, one, God, one Son, Jesus Christ, da 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 da. And it, it was halfway right. And they'd say it over and over and over. Now they have the Sparkle Creed. And the Sparkle Creed says, we now believe in one. God and Jesus Christ, their son, and listen to the Elton. I hope you can understand this. Listen carefully. And let us confess our faith today in the words of the... This is church. 
Creed. I believe in the non-binary God whose pronouns are plural. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in a non-binary God whose pronouns are plural. That's about the dumbest thing anybody ever said in their life. So look, you're a he, you're a her, you're a boy, you're a girl. It's cut, dried. That's it. Don't get mad at me. Listen, anybody that thought different than that 50 years ago would have been considered insane. I'm just saying what people have always believed. There ain't 30, 40, 50 genders. There's two. You know, you know there's one man in the Bible where they said them to? He's full of demons. We are legion, for we are many. You better watch fooling around stuff like that. That's the only time in the Bible where somebody referred to herself in a plural. We are many. One person. There's a bunch of them living inside that man. We're living in a, in a generation that is possessed with evil spirits. Listen to the rest of this creed. Who wore a fabulous tunic and had two dads. He had and two dads. Saw- Jesus had two dads. God and Joseph. That's sickening. Everyone as a sibling child of God. I believe in the rainbow spirit who shatters our image of one white light and reflects into a rainbow of gorgeous diversity. We believe in the rainbow spirit that fractures that one white light and causes it into a diversity of different colors. That's the God we believe in. She says. I believe in the church of everyday saints as numerous, creative, and resilient as patches on the ace quilt. Feet are grounded in mud and whose eyes gaze at the stars in wonder. I believe in the calling to each of us that love is love is love. So beloved, let us love. I believe, glorious God, help my unbelief. That's a demon talking. Demon talking to her. Love is love is love is love. No, it's lust is lust is lust is sin. That's what that really is. Are you listening? Are you listening? Buddy, you don't think we're living in them last days Jesus spoke about? Now, you're going to hear a, a female who is in her 20s now and is suing her parents for bringing her into this world. Really? This is happening more and more and more. It doesn't go to court. What kind of a judge would take a case like that? You say, well, it crossed my mind. Well, look, you can't sue your parents for bringing you into this world, you nut. Yeah, I mean, listen to this. She says, I sued my parents because they brought me into this world without my consent. Well, how are you going to ask them? She said, she said they should have hired a psychic medium and talked to me when I was in my mother's womb and said, do you want to be born? No. Well, then, have an abortion. That's what she said. And her life's goal is to convince people that it's unethical for you to have children. It's wrong. It's unethical. You shouldn't bring kids into this world without asking them if they want to be here. Adopt some that are already here. That's what she's saying. I sued my parents for having me without my permission. But I just want to make a couple of things clear. So my parents that I sued, they contributed to, you know, conceiving me. And my mother that raised me, she gave birth to me. Um, and that's why I sued them. Because I was into being here. Like, I was unaware that I was going to have to grow up and get a job. Oh, <laughs> we done found the problem there, ain't we, y'all? I was unaware that I was going to have to work. Woo! I believe there's a lot of them that ain't got that figured out yet. Come on now, say amen. We're still in an old-fashioned Bible-believing church. You still got freedom. We ain't going to have it long. You still got freedom to holler amen. Say, that's right. Enjoy the truth. You see, it ain't gonna last long. But you got. I feel sorry for her. Honest to goodness, that break anybody that pit, pitiful. That's sad, really. 
That's, that's so sad. Um, to support myself, and I, there, I just didn't consent to that. They didn't try to contact me in any way before I was born to see if I actually wanted to be here, um, and that's why I sued them. Yeah. Now, it's different. I've said it's, like, unethical to have children before, but it's different when you adopt because it's not my fault that they're here. I'm just trying to be a good person and, like, help I'm them out. I'm sorry for them kids she adopted. You know what I mean? What about your mom? Um, so, yeah, if you are pregnant right now, you need to go, you need to hire a psychic medium and ask your child if they actually want to be here. Um, but keep in mind, if they don't, you, you need to terminate. Otherwise, they will sue you because I'm making that my life mission to teach children to sue their parents so they don't have to work. Um, but yeah. Now you to say that. You say that. Oh, it ain't real. It is too. They done been in the court. And honest to goodness, the judge ruled in her favor to begin with. So some of them started turning it over and they overturned it. I'm telling you the truth. Listen, people. The world, you, you think we're not, we're seeing the signs being fulfilled like, like 99 miles an hour. The world's changed in the last five years so much. Lord have mercy. We're at, we're at the scooting out place. We're at takeoff. It's time to leave this old world. Jesus is coming back. All he's waiting on is for you to get right and more to come in and be saved. The long suffering of God, willing that any should perish, but that all should come repent. He's waiting on you this morning. Now listen to this. This is the plans for our country and the world by the year 2030. I don't believe it will be for 2030. I don't. I could be wrong. There could be a big emergency happening that speeds it up. I don't believe it. I think it'll take longer than that. But here's what they're saying. Asked, what would you say if I told you that by 2030, you'll own nothing, have no privacy, and yet you'll be happy that you'll live in a cashless society where all currency is digital and that everyone on earth will require a digital ID to travel freely. And that much like communist China, you'll be given a social credit score that determines how loyal you are to this new global system and those who control it. The end game is a one world government. To many, this sounds like something straight out of George Orwell's 1984, but I believe an even better guidepost would be the book of Revelation and the coming Antichrist led system. Now, some very powerful global players led by the World Economic Forum and with the enthusiastic backing of some Western leaders, major corporations and the UN are openly promoting this radical transformation of society. They call it the Great Reset. And folks, it's not a conspiracy or a theory when the people behind it are telling you out loud what they intend to do. All right. Take your Bible and turn to Revelation 13 right quick. I'm going to close with this scripture. Revelation 13. Verse 1, you see a beast rise up out of the sea. A beast in prophecy represents a king and or a kingdom. The sea represents the masses of people. So an antichrist is going to rise up out of the mass of people. Seven head, ten horns, you've heard me tell those ten kings that are going to rule with him are not completely human. According to Daniel 2, they're part iron, they're part clay. That's why Elon Musk is pushing the computer chip in your head to connect with your brain and our next generation, they're doing it, they're doing it. I'm not, I'm not talking out of my head. I'm not crazy. It's already being done. It's tests on people right now where that your brain was connected to the internet and you literally become part machine, part human. That's those 10 kings. That's in Daniel chapter 2. Now, look on down here. Um, we saw one of his heads wounded to death and all his world healed, uh, wandered after the beast. You know, that, that bad, dark rock that the Antichrist will have. That's why all the movie stars and the rock scene and everything cover that right eye with their hair or something. All those pictures of one eye. And they worship the dragon. Verse 4, that's the devil. They worship the devil. Look, it said, it said, verse 3, all the world wondered after the beast. One world government. Look at verse number um, 
Oh, good night. 13. That's 13, 13. He does great wonders so that he makes fire come down from heaven to earth the sight of men to deceive people. See, when that, when that UFO or whatever it is, they're already expecting it, hits ground, and that thing steps out of there, starts healing people of cancer, and gets rid of the world. All you got to do is take the mark, and you won't get sick no more. You'll be able to eat. You'll be able to prosper. You'll be able to live. When that happens, all the world will worship the Antichrist. He has power to heal and do great miracles. You know as well as I know, if a man could step out and make peace on this earth and cause all the leaders to get along with each other and cure people of these, people would fall at his feet like cordwood. And that's exactly what's coming. But you got to have the mark. Now our eyes are open. We belong to Jesus. The Lord said, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Listen, people, you're running out of time. Your play days are about over. Your partying time is about gone. You hear me? Uh, hey, your, your, your beer at the beach time is about over. Your honky token days are about done. The Lord is coming, and if you get left behind, you'll worship the devil and lose your life one. One world government, one world monetary system, and one world religion and a one-world dictator. That's where it's headed. I didn't write it. I didn't make this up. I'm preaching to you, Bible said. Verse 16 said, He causeth all, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in, not on, in, inside your right hand or in your forehead, and no man will buy or sell. You can't buy nothing. You can't sell nothing. Out the mark, the name of the beast, or the number of his name, and his what number is six hundred three score and six. I heard a man say this. I don't even know if it's true. Check it out. There's like seven hundred and five members of Europe, the European Parliament. He said, "I can't prove this. I just heard a preacher say it last night that there was six hundred seventy nine seats, like chairs, in the European." Uh, Parliament, and there's one seat that hasn't been set in by nobody yet. You guessed it. We said 666. And Prince Charles, did you hear that speech he made where he let it slip? Did y'all hear that? He said, uh, he's, a, he's just had the world economy and all that, and, and when he comes, he'll have trillions at his disposal. Who's he talking about? Look that up. Let it slip. The world leaders know he's coming. The Bible believers know he's coming. You know who don't know he's coming? People just out here trying to have fun. They knew not till the flood came and took them all away. I'm going to ask you to stand by your head. Girls going to come sing. God's speaking to your heart this morning. You're here and you're not right with God. You've seen something and heard something this morning that 90% of the world don't even know exists you're going to give an account to God for it. You will give an account to God for your life. You're going to give an account to God. You hear me? You've seen stuff here this morning, these testimonies. You felt something and heard something that 90% of the world knows nothing about. We're going to pray and they're going to sing. And whatever God's telling you to do, some's already come to this altar. If I was here this morning, I was a mama or I was a daddy and I had kids, oh, Lord have mercy, I'd be begging God to help. If I was here this morning and I was a church member or maybe cold, you're sort of halfway serving God, I'd get this altar this morning. I'd say, Lord, Lord God, Lord God, I'm going to quit playing games. I'm going to get right with God. I won't be a hypocrite. Jesus said, you hypocrites, you can't discern the signs of the time. Oh, God, help us this morning. Lord, do a miracle here this morning. Do a miracle right here this morning. Touch someone and save them by your grace. Touch that man, that woman who's struggling this morning, who's holding back. God, help them to get down here and get their heart right. 
Whatever you do, we'll thank you and praise you for it. In Jesus' name, we pray and for his sake. Amen. They're singing. They're singing this morning. God's speaking to your heart. Why don't you just come on this morning? Come on. Mamas, daddies, go ahead. Struggling Amen. Are you struggling life. this morning? Are you struggling and having a hard time? Come on down here and get your heart right here. Come on down here and get your heart right. Amen. Amen. We got kids. We got grandkids. Hey, to find we better pray the Lord to help us with them. I'm it, sir. I'm not even going to get your heart right. Come on, man, get your heart right. Lord, I want you to work in my life. Lord, I want you to work in my heart. Oh, God, please help me. 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 Please help me.
There's a lot of superstitious people in this world. And you'll find out what the Bible says about it this evening at 6 o'clock. Don't miss it. All right, let's pray. Amen. Brother Jeff, go ahead.